Hello, and thank you for tuning back in. Uh, if you're here, you've probably seen the video explaining how to compute oscillation frequency of a horizontal bar sitting on a pair of rollers. And if you're looking for some additional reference information, and you'd like to find some internet resources that tell you more about this problem, and you want to know how in the name did I hear about this crazy problem in the first place. You will find this problem spelled out uh, rather nicely in Halliday and Resnick, 5th edition, chapter 16, pages 377 and 378. I have a small collection of Halliday's books, and I've never seen this problem uh, in any edition before or after the 5th edition, so that's the edition you'll need to go to to see this problem. You'll find those pages photocopied on Chegg, uh, along with what I think is a rather vacuous regurgitation of uh, how Halliday and Resnick solved solve this problem. You'll see that Halliday and Resnick take a slightly different approach. Their axis of rotation uh, for computing the torques is above the left rotor where the left rotor meets the bar. So some of the terms in their algebraic expressions are uh, a little bit different, but they end up at the end with uh, the same expression. The first time I ever saw this problem was four years ago, which is how long it's been taking me to figure out this problem, uh, in a Physics 250 class at Kenyatta College in Redwood City, California. The professor is Dr. Achilles Estiliotopoulos. He's a physicist at UC Berkeley, and he teaches physics there as well as a lot of other classes. Okay, what you're looking at is a web page from archive.org that has uh, recordings by Dr. Estiliotopoulos uh, presenting a physics class at UC Berkeley back in 2014. I'm pointing this out to you because lecture number 37 on November 26, you can hear his explanation of this problem and how to solve it. It starts about eight minutes in and is preceded by uh, an explanation of another uh, oscillation problem. The November 24th lecture is also very much worth listening to. That's the first lecture on oscillations, and it starts with uh, an explanation of the equation of motion, and it's followed by four or five additional examples of oscillations and how to compute oscillation frequency. What's especially nice about all of these explanations and all of the examples is that they don't use a spring, and so there's no spring constant. So the explanation and understanding of uh, oscillations is not dependent on a spring and a spring constant. What you see now is a drawing of the fixture that Dr. Spiliotopoulos uses to explain this problem. You can kind of tell by looking it's an inverted bicycle and you too can see it at this URL. The disadvantage of this fixture, obviously, is that the wheelbase isn't adjustable, so it's kind of hard to prove the, uh, the formula. One small caveat with Berkeley recordings is that these are audio only. There's no video. So you may have to listen to some of these lectures a couple of times in order to understand what Dr. S is talking about because you can hear what he says but you can't see what he's drawing on the board and you can't see him demonstrate the issue with this fixture. You'll also find a copy of this white paper at this URL which is a short analysis of the horizontal bar problem. Personally I didn't find it very illuminating but it makes reference to a textbook, which I have yet to find, that allegedly has uh, an explanation of uh, this problem in it. So it's probably worth looking at. 
This URL has a video from Physics Galaxy also explaining the problem, and this is worth looking at. So that is chapter and verse on all the information sources about this problem. And if you come across any additional sources of information about this, kind of, kindly let me know and I can add them to the bibliography. And as always, I hope this information has been useful. Thank you for watching. And if you have comments or questions, please let me know and I'll respond. Thank you.